This is day one of printing fun, functional prints with flexible filament. Prusha was kind enough to send me their new roll of flexible TPU filament. You can see a little benchy that I printed here. This filament is squishy, so you can do some pretty cool things with it. And if we clear off my desk, I'll show you the problem I have that this is gonna solve. I got this shop vac to help me clean up my CNC machine whenever I'm done using it, but I wanna turn it into a regular vacuum. I got this carpet cleaning attachment online, but the attachment that connects it to the shop vac, well, it doesn't really fit. So we're gonna model and print a flexible junction that's gonna make these two work together. Let's do it. We've done some simple CAD and this is what we've got. I think it's gonna work. We might need to remeasure it. Let's just find out. After cleaning everything up and adding a few more details, this is what we've ended up with. Let's bring it into Prusa and print. We've got the model loaded in and we've got all the right settings ready. So let's go set up the printer. Let's put it on the little spool holder. Our idler tension should be good, so let's just pop our filament in the printer right here. And then, as is always the case with TPU, you want to use a bit of glue as a separation layer as opposed to, like, actually needing adhesion. I've designed this model so that it hopefully won't need any supports, so let's send it off. The printer is going, so now we wait. We'll check back in in about two hours. Our little adapter is done, let's pry it off and clean it up a bit. Well, our adapter is done, and look how fun and squishy this is. This should be great for adapting onto the hoses, so let's give it a try. You can see we've got this nice seal going on too, and I gave a little slot for that little thing down there. Now let's hook it up to the shop vac and see if it works. All right, moment of truth. Let's turn on our vacuum. I think it works! Stay tuned for the next time I print something fun and functional. Thanks again to Preacher Research for sponsoring this video, and as always, let me know what you guys think.